Rhea has talked Tommy into going to a restaurant. And he's disappointed they don't have cat. He knows the Orientals, they love cats and dogs. No, not as bad as dinner. Yes, Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella, whilst both his arms being blindly obedient, he slowly fed that right arm into a wood chipper because he was told to by his boss. Lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off. He won his girlfriend's heart because he does a very mean snake dance now. And unbeknownst to him, they're married. They're at a restaurant and Rhea has come back from the bathroom to find Tommy staring at another woman. An Asian girl a picking her nose at the restaurant. And she throws her drink in his face and says, Well, did you get a good look, Tommy? Uh, yeah. He's not going to be enjoying those three stooges tonight either. I am Milton, son of a carpenter and married dad. A carpenter worked on skyscrapers, mom, Marianne. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables. This is a Tommy parable series about Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella. Got that way being blindly obedient. His boss, Blue, told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He blindly obeyed. They love that new organ. Lefty, the left arm, wisely jumped off, leaving Tommy with no arms but a promotion. And this particular parable is for the snake pit, where Tommy meets the love of his life, Rhea. He's always been scaly. He's always talked with a horse less. He likes to stick his tongue out a lot. I told you he was Chinese. Now that uh, he's missing both arms, he does a very mean snake dance, and that's what won Rhea's heart at the snake pit. It's how Tommy prays. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter, married dad of carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Marianne. I'm son of a carpenter, married, get to tell parables. This is my parable series by Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella. Lost his arms, being obedient, blindly obedient. He was told by his boss, Wu, to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. Always been blindly obedient. Lefty, left arm jumped off. And, uh,. Ironically, that's how he you know, met his girlfriend doing a snake dance at the Snake Pit Poppy Dance Club here in L.A. And unbeknownst to him, he's married. Yeah, they went to a church uh, barbecue. And that's what uh, they're back at the church. Uh, and uh, he's being kept afterwards because he was distracting. He had his toe up his nose, kicked off his loaf. And the, the priest says, that's distracting. And he says, oh, that's how I pray. I'm a dadless Buddhist. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow. Average worker of the unseen business. And yeah, he got a promotion for taking the right arm in the wood chipper. Lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around. He got a promotion. And he is at the office long after his employees have left. And a woman knocks on the door. Yeah, he wanted to get the end of a Three Stooges movie. And she has a, a cat in her hand. He has his. Uh, Flyery puts up all the time. Hazy, out of focus, and you can't hardly see the cat. And she says, is this that cat? And Tommy says, yeah, thanks. I put cat in cat carrier. And she says, I don't know if this is your cat. You don't seem very happy to see him. He runs in the, in the office. He kicks the, uh, the desk. He comes out with a tear rolling down his cheek and says, oh, okay, it must be your cat. And then he calls up Rhea and says, uh, we got Thanksgiving dinner, uh, Rhea. Tommy and Rhea are having Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, he had a hazy flyer up of a cat. And lost cat and somebody showed up with a cat. So he got a cat. As you know, Orientals love the cats and the dogs. No, not as dinner. Oh, no, not as pets as dinner. And uh, they're having dinner, Thanksgiving cat dinner, and... The phone rings, Tommy's phone rings, and he says, it's Chang, I have to go talk to him in the other room. And he goes into the art studio there. Over, yes, he's chipping away at the Tommy DeMilo. And, yeah, it's uh, the Oriental nose picker. Tommy's having an affair with, and, yes, Lefty, he uh, gets it all on phone video for Rhea. And, yes, it may be Thanksgiving, but there's going to be fireworks at uh, their house tonight.
Uh, Tommy has just called Ching, and he says, I don't have long to talk. I've been using my phone as a flashlight, and uh, it's about to go out. When you come to pick me up tomorrow, bring me a change of clothes. And Ching wants to know, well, why have you been using your flashlight as a, your phone as a flashlight? Did the electricity go out? And he said, no, Ria really, got home. Uh, yeah, Tommy and Lou, the oriental nose picker from the restaurant, she was uh, feeding him cat on his lap in the recliner, and Lefty took a photo, texted it to uh, Rhea when she got home. She's mad as anything, and yes, he's in the doghouse, literally. The dog that died because Tommy couldn't feed it when he lost both his arms to one in the wood chipper. Lefty wisely jumped off. That's why he's still around. Uh, Tommy's bossing a whole lot of folks around at work now, and he got to work. And everybody asked him, what are we doing today? And Tommy says, nothing. I'm tired from the weekend. And yeah, uh, Leah laughs so hard, she snorts cola out of her nose. And Tommy sees that, and then he, he says, uh, I'd like some cola. Uh, Ching, go get me some cola. And yeah, turn on the three studios so he can watch it there at work. And as uh, they do that, uh, Leah goes outside and tells everybody why Tommy's, you know, in a bad mood. Rhea had called her up and told her that he was going to be in a bad mood because he wanted to go put tires on the car with her, and he was bugging the uh, the guy working there so much that he piled tires up on top of him. So he's tired. Tony and Tina are both college students and boyfriend and girlfriend oh find my moments beware at these uh, websites download and hand out to anybody who needs to know about the Mormons case in their neighborhood anyway Tony says let's go to a Ralph's party because he's got the latest Tommy's and a Tina says, oh, I don't like Tommy. He's a brunette. As a uh, kind of a short attention span. And a Tony says, well, don't worry about it. He's got a whole bunch of new ones that are just a minute. A red and Vince, two cops, have just showed up at the front of a bathroom public restroom and Larry is there he says there's a sick son of a bitch in there making lewd propositions uh, yeah Tommy is a no-armed oriental fella average worker of the unseen business was told by his boss to stick his right arm into the wood chipper he did that lefty the left arm wisely jumped off and sure enough Red and Vince go into the bathroom. They say, is anybody here? And an oriental voice says, please, white bud. I'll pay you five dollars. Yeah, he usually hits that taco truck earlier and his personal assistant at work has to take care of that or re at home. Tommy is the no-armed oriental worker, average worker of the unseen business of streets was told by his boss Wu as a test of loyalty to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. Lefty the left arm wisely jumped off. He got a promotion out of that. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around and he has used his his position. If you were paying attention, if you saw last night, uh, Rhea, his girlfriend, flew into a rage when she came back from going to the bathroom and he was checking out an oriental girl a uh, pick in her nose in the restaurant there and he was kind of taken by her so he has used uh, his position got Chang to go get her into the office and under the pretense of needing to have a staged event of a girl picking her nose in public and uh, she says I noticed you, you know, picking your nose with your toes in that restaurant uh, 
Tommy is your average worker of the unseen business, the Chinese unseen business, the Oriental Street. And he lost both his arms being blindly obedient. His boss, Wu, told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. As Lefty, the left arm, saw the right arm being chipped up, he wisely jumped off. That left Tommy with no arms, and as you know, the Orientals love the cats and the dogs. No, not as pets. As dinner. And Tommy's out on the hunt because you can't buy that cat on the grocery shelves yet. And uh, he sneaks up behind this alley cat, grabs the cat's tail with his mouth, slams the cat up against the uh, wall there. And a woman, as he's taking the cat home, says, Oh, you do have some. You can't carry a cat like that. You do have somebody to uh, help you with your cat. And he says, Yeah, Rhea will skin and cook. Tommy is the no armed oriental fella who lost both his arms, being blindly obedient. They love that in the Orient. They love that in the Chinese streets. He was told by his boss, Wu, to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. And he did that. And Lefty, the left arm, wisely jumped off. As this parable, minute parable, starts about Tommy, he's cheating on Rhea on the other side of Los Angeles. He can't stay away from the uh, Chinese girl who picks her nose in public. And they're eating at a fast food restaurant and she drops a fry and she reaches down to the floor, picks it up and, you know, she sees the shocked look on Tommy's face and he says, Rhea won't let me eat fries off the floor and she hands it to him and says, you poor man. Aaliyah and Mia are unhappy. It's the day after Thanksgiving they got called in to work. They're supposed to be off. But yeah, a Tommy got in trouble talking to Lou, the Oriental nose picker, during Thanksgiving dinner. So Rhea's on the warpath, so he's at work, so they got to be too. And uh, he calls him into his office and he says, What would you think of a Oriental girl who picks her nose in public? And Leah says, well, makes you wonder what else she'd do. And Tommy says, oh, yeah. Gets that far away look in his face. And yeah, he's meeting uh, uh, Lou at a nice fast food restaurant. No, she doesn't drop a, fi a fry on the floor and eat it. She, uh, yeah, she farts in front of everybody. Tommy is the average worker of the unseen business. The Orient unseen business of Chinese streets. He lost both arms, being blindly obedient. He was told by his boss, Wu, to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. Lefty, the left arm, wisely jumped off, leaving him with no arms. He's in Katie the Cat Cooks. The cat's got your tongue and wanting some more. Diner, because Orientals like cats and dogs, uh, no not as pets. And a bully, Oriental bully, sitting right next to him, jumps up and he says, Hey, fella, why'd you steal my gloves? And sure enough, the gloves are in Tommy's back pocket. And everybody's uh, kind of serious for a moment, and then they figure, well, Tommy doesn't have hands. Why would he steal? And, they, you know, the bully you know, storms out, and Tommy, uh, once everybody's done, you know, he looks around, puts that foot up, and steals the tip the bully left. Aria. And her husband, Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fella, have gone into the hairstylist. And the hairstylist says, I'll be right back. And yes, the place is empty except for them. And Rhea's climbing through a magazine. And some folks, some girls that walk in are a laughing and giggling at Tommy. And she looks over out of the corner of her eye, of her eye and she says, Tommy, whatever you do, don't take, take your toe out of your nose. Oh yeah, he got caught again picking his nose with his toes, a big habit of the Oriental. Well, a lot of them use their fingers if they have arms. And um, she looks over at the girls and gets Tommy up and they're hopping out and she says, I hope you you like making fun of my husband's birth defect. Yes, he said the same thing at work when they found uh, uh, an adult movie they had made in the bedroom. 
Tommy's the no-armed oriental fellow who lost both his arms in a wood chipper incident. He was brown nosing. His boss Wu told him to stick his right arm in the wood chipper, and he did that and lefty the left arm jumped off. Now Tommy doesn't like telling folks how he lost his arms because it makes him, you know, sound stupid. So he likes to get excuses, uh, reasons why he uh, lost his arm from AA, his AA meeting at the bar, Amputees Anonymous. Uh, and tonight Gary is there. He went was a, at the zoo feeding a lion, he tells everyone. And he wasn't feeding a lion quick enough, so the lion kind of took off an arm. So uh, Tommy tells uh, Al to uh, write that down. He also gets a calculator and does some quick math. Yeah, the average uh, lion is 42 times bigger than the, the alley cat, and that means Tommy, they like uh, cats, the Orientals, gets to eat a month off it. Tommy is the no-armed Orientafel. Lost his arm, being blindly obedient, his boss Wu told him to stick his right arm in the wood chipper. He stuck his arm in that wood chipper and lefty, the left arm, wisely jumped off, leaving Tommy with no arm, so he's at his AA meeting at the bar, Al's bar. But yeah, Amputees Anonymous, AA meeting, and Rhea wants to know why he's not home, so she calls up Al, and Al looks over and tells her, yes, he's here, yes, he's alone. Then afterwards, he goes over and he asks, uh, Tommy, what, what, uh, who's Lou? She asked you if you were here with Lou, and Tommy says, oh, he sighs, takes a sip of that straw, you know, his drink, and says, oh, she's a oriental girl who can pick a nose. And, and I was curious as to whether he means his nose or her nose, but he's learned not to ask. Uh, Tommy is a no-armed oriental fella, lost both of his arms because his boss told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. And lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off. He doesn't like. He's at his AA meeting at the bar. Yes, amputees anonymous. And he doesn't like the new guy Adam. He's obviously drunk. He's slurring his words. He's uh, going on and on about uh, how those other AA meetings are pompous and uh, serious and boring. And finally, Tommy says, "Hey." Phil, what exactly are you missing uh, to be an AA? A A yes, amputees and arms. And the guy takes off his shoe and there's his big toe. And he explains how at the other meeting they pushed him out and closed the door and yeah, took off his uh, toe at that too serious AA meeting. Tommy is an average worker of the Oriental Streets, Chinese unseen business, who lost both of his arms in a brown nosing incident. He was told by his boss Wu to stick that right arm into a wood chipper. He blindly obeyed. And as the righty was getting chipped up, lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving Tommy with no arms. And uh, yeah, he's calling Rhea up with his phone. It's hard to do because he's got to hit, you know, the buttons with his nose. And Rhea answers and she says, Tommy, where are you? You're not with that oriental hussy, that nose picker, are you? Yeah, he met a girl picking her nose, oriental girl picking her nose at a restaurant, and he's had an affair with her. He says, no, I'm at, I was hunting cat for our dinner. They like cats and dogs, no, not as pets as dinner. And uh, uh, near side of Granny has him penned up, and she's taking him to the vet to see a fixing cures his attack in the cat. Tommy's the no-armed Orienta fella lost both his arms in a wood chipper incident. Was told by his boss Wu to stick his right arm into the wood chipper. He did that. Lefty, the left arm, wisely jumped off. Tommy has the hardest time answering his phone because the room that he's in is very small. When he does it, hi Rhea. And Rhea says, Why aren't you home yet, Tommy? You're not with that a slut oriental nose picker, are you? And Tommy says, no, I'm not with Lou. I'll be right there, honey. And he hangs up. He puts another yen in that little slot. And the window opens. And yes, there's a, a, a Chinese girl over there, scantily clad. And uh, she goes to picking that nose. Tommy rolled through on the Tommy Mobile uh, Chinatown on his way home. And he saw that, uh, that Gacy girl looking thing with, you know, two X's over her nose. 
A Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow. He got a promotion sticking his right arm into a wood chipper. It was a test of loyalty and lefty the left arm. Saw what happened to righty, he jumped off and yes, he's still sore about what happened to righty. Getting all chipped up in that. Uh, Tommy's working late in the art studio, Rhea's art studio. She's chipping away at the Tommy DeMilo. It's like the Venus DeMilo, except uh, missing his arms. And Tommy is getting the big box together. And he says, I got to mail this to Ming in China. Tomorrow it's about a, a report on the Karens. Can you mail it for me? She says, sure. She's half asleep. Just put it by the door there. I'll, I'll pick it up. She picks it up. Yes, you guessed it. Lefty. When Tommy fell asleep, put him in the box. And uh, Rhea's kind of strong. She put him, you know, took him to the post office, put him on the thing. And as he was walking away, uh, he, she heard him yell. Uh, Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella, average worker of the unseen business, the Chinese unseen business, the Oriental streets. He was told by his boss Luke to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. Lefty, the left arm, wisely jumped off. And Wu, his boss, is in his office, and the secretary brings in a letter. And he says, oh, it's, it's good to get a letter every once in a while. Everything's done on computers nowadays. He opens up the letter, and it says, you are a big, stupid son of a... Uh, goes on and on. And yes, it's signed Tommy. And he doesn't just take of that, he uh, he checks the handwriting, it's definitely his, so uh, Tommy's going to be getting some anger management kind of stuff going on, and yes, uh, Lefty still sort of knows his handwriting too. Tommy, the no arm Chinese fellow, yes, uh, was told by his boss to stick his right arm into a wood chipper, he did that, he's been blindly obedient all his life. Uh, stuck the right arm in, Lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off. Tommy is watching the Three Stooges and he hears a knock at the door. He goes to the door and he says, who is it? And she says, Lou. Yes, it's uh, the Oriental nose picker from the restaurant. And uh, she hears him trying to open the door and she says, oh, don't bother. I can go right through the doggy door. And she goes in there and she says, uh, are you sure? Your uh, wife's not here? And she says, no, she's on business trip. And yes, he's uh, brought some cat along to feed him. And uh, yes, Lefty crawls out. He's taking that uh, snapshot uh, with the phone of the devil. At a college party. And Dana is an angry brunette. And she hears someone say, hey, I got some new Tommy parable." From Stone Cold Melton. John Melton Bray, son of a carpenter. Mary died a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne, I am the son of a carpenter. I get to make parables. And Dana, the angry brunette, rolls her eyes. She's uh, heard those Tommy parables before, and they can go on for, you know, half hour at times. She gets up, and she's on her way to the door, and she listens as the uh, handsome ball guy spins the a Tommy parable and by the time she gets to the door I'm done yes it's my new after the insulin poisoning minute Tommy parable pick up your own phone make a Tommy parable today and yeah come see me be in this graphic art let me define graphic art with your beauty girls man and a woman get on an elevator and the woman takes out a handy wipe and wipes off the buttons he says that oriental man with leprosy he kicks off his loafer and he presses the boat. And the man says, well, I don't think he has leprosy. And she says, well, you sure don't believe that story about sticking the right arm in the wood chipper and the left arm jumped off. They reach the bottom and they walk out. Uh, and so does a uh, left arm crawls out. But yeah, lefty. He's been at work at Tommy's office early and he's... Uh, been uh yeah put an open tube of super glue on his chair so as he's watching the three stooges yeah he's gonna get stuck remember checking post of five four two four two two nine four one four zero make a video of america's i take life lines tommy 
has just got a promotion. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around. He's part of the Chinese streets, the Oriental Unseen Business. What's that? That's me asking for a 93 check call for over a decade and not getting one of them. Make a video of you had that call to me. Now back to Tommy. He's just got that management position and he is bossing a whole lot of folks around. And so he's there longer and the diner he goes to lately, uh, it's closed by the time he gets off work. Oh yeah, Tommy's the no one worker. Boss Wu told him as that test of management to stick his right arm in the wood chipper, stuck his right arm in the wood chipper, left, he was left arm, wisely jumped off. When he finally does get home, he looks up at that uh, can of soup up there and yeah, how's he going to get to it? Tommy lost both of his arms being blindly obedient. His boss Wu told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that and the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving him with no arms. As this terrible video starts, Tommy is at his AA meeting. He has at Alice Bar. They like to have their AA meetings at the bar because well, right afterwards they have the refreshments. And a new member of AA, Madeline, is a little reluctant to share her story, but everyone tells her, oh, go ahead, it's all right. And she tells everyone she was a driver and she was a pick in her nose and she got into an accident and this this is worries Tommy because he doesn't have arms to lose but uh, yeah his girlfriend the one he had the affair with uh, Lou the uh, sea drives he's worried about her now lefty a uh, left arm is a hand model and he is on a photo shoot and the photographer is getting him to show her different emotions show me happy show me angry goes through a whole wide range of uh, that and then she says now show me stupid so me the dumbest guy on earth and lefty's prepared to reaches into his sleeve and pulls out uh, a photo of Tommy yeah, Tommy's a, uh, a stupid guy who stuck his right arm in the wood chipper because he was being blindly obedient in the Oriental Street, the uh, Chinese unseen business. Righty got chipped up, lefty wisely jumped off. You should too. Can you hear me, Mia? Uh, Tommy is the no-arm Chinese fella. How did he get to be missing both arms? He was given a management test. Told to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. Lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off. He got a promotion out of it, and right now he's doing some undercover work with me as he's going into a college bar, and he says, can you hear me? And she says, not so loud. Yeah, she's got the earbuds in to pretend she's listening to uh, music. And a guy comes up, uh, and he tries to, uh, you know, uh, buy her a drink, and she says, no, no. Uh, She's uh, trying to find out about Milton Timothy, and he says, oh, here you go. Remember, uh, look for me next time. I've got more of his latest imagery. And that's true, guys. You're going to strike out nine out of ten times. Uh, make sure you got something to get him coming back for more. Aria can tell how the audition went as he pulls up to pick Tommy up. Tommy's a no-armed oriental fella, average worker of the unseen business, the streets. And he wanted uh, to go try out to be a stooge. Uh, some kind of promotion they're doing, maybe a play or movie or TV show. And she can tell from the way he looks as uh, she opens up the door. Uh, he can't open the handle. Uh, it's written all over his face. He says, uh, yeah, they said I couldn't be a stooge because... I can't poke someone else in the eyes and I can't, you know, put my hand up to prevent other folks from poking me in the eye. And I said, smart guy. And he's, you know, sad as anything. And Maria says, well, Tommy, when we get home, I'll pick your nose. And Tommy knows it's a pity pick, but uh, he's oriental. He likes nose picking. 
Tommy is the no-arm Chinese fellow who was blindly obeying his boss, Wu, when he was told to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that lefty, the left arm wisely jumped off, and has been sore about that chipping incident. So he wrote Wu an angry letter, and he knows Tommy's handwriting. So Wu sent uh, Tommy to anger management. Yeah, a seminar. Yogi's conducting it. And he says, we're all here because we have trouble with our anger. And Tommy says, no, not me. I don't have any anger problems. And Yogi says, okay. And he starts handing everybody a bowling ball. And he says, we're going to bowl today instead of getting angry. And when he goes to ha hand it to Tommy, he can't catch it, doesn't have any arms, lands on his foot. And he starts yelling and screaming in Chinese. And Yogi says, that's why he's here. Tommy is in charge of kids in my fun cartoon parable about Tommy the soulless yellow asshole. And just like this image, and a couple of days before, the uh, other image was butchered. You see it jumped there, I had to crop out what the Chinese put in. Tommy is in charge today of uh, moving 20 severely uh, birth defected all with the same birth defects in and out of a cradle it is a trillion tales of the devil's people it is a Tommy we'll get back to the nose picking tomorrow I'm having this done to my child and yeah I don't have any kids because of the yellow shit folks and Lori's hatred Tommy is the embodiment of the great wall of evil. Yeah, he was told by his boss to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that to the left arm. Wisely jumped off. And in this minute parable, Tommy, he is tossing and turning next to his girlfriend, Rhea, having a nightmare of truth. A John of the Military People Project has found Norman a hundred year old man and he shows Norman what the Chinese the great wall of evil have done the devil's people walking among us what they've done to his family and he takes Norman and he gives him that fountain of youth those three chemicals to be a battler of the devil Mindy has just gotten home for Thanksgiving break and the first thing her mom asks her is do you know Melton the graphic artist and Mindy says yeah all the girls on campus are talking about him and his beautiful graphic art and the devil's people walking among us they uh they're working overtime to try and uh, keep everyone from seeing his latest and uh, mom says yeah well that's what uh, I'm having a hard time doing you're not gonna let the uh, Chinese stop you from getting Melton's latest you know he has a thing for blondes and you wouldn't you know your squad are blonde and she says you're not trying to pimp me out just for imagery and she says no it's not just for me honey uh, your dad likes his Tommy parables Tommy, on Halloween, your party, your Halloween party or any other party isn't a party unless you've got uh, the Mormons beware and the uh, Tommy imagery printed as four by six photos. Uh, Daffodilia blogspot.com Christ Complex two dot wixsite dot com slash daffodilia and yes you got to tell your tummies yourself I'm suffering from insulin poisoning last month and a half so tell those tummies only you can tell your phone makes a video nowadays put it to good use and remember to check and post some five forty four two two nine four one four zero trying to call me.